Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to um, install a custom recovery on your Samsung Galaxy A32. So let's begin. I'm going to just quickly set it up because we need to set it up at first uh, if it's not currently set up because you will need to um, unlock the bootloader and in order to do it you need to get into the system so just a quick setup nothing crazy the phone will reset itself uh, anyway actually will do it manually through the recovery and we'll need to do it because otherwise we won't really be able to 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 use anything because when you install a custom recovery the system's still encrypted so you need to wipe it through that custom recovery so it's not encrypted anymore and that the custom recovery can access it so now um once it is <coughs> i think set up let's begin by going to the settings in the settings you should get to uh, first make sure that you are connected to some wi-fi it is pretty important that you are connected to wi-fi um, and also mm, it's worth removing your google account if you have one so go to settings accounts and backup manage accounts and if you have a google account click on it and click on remove so you don't have frp now let's go to about phone go to software information and tap on build number seven times if, it ha if you have a screen lock just enter it when it asks you to do it then go to developer options now you should enable the option of OE oem unlocking you can see i have it enabled i need to enable it like that and now when it is enabled i will be able to unlock the bootloader you won't see OEM unlocking on the list if you're not connected to Wi-Fi. <coughs> so now let's shut the phone down. Uh, or no, actually before that, let's go back to about phone and make sure that we know our modal name. I have the SM8326B and most likely you do too, but if you have a different modal, not A326B, then... Um, you will need to find the custom recovery file for yourself because in the description down below I have linked some um, files I'm gonna check what the files are I think it's just yeah it's just the typical like TWRP um, recovery for Samsung A32 and also VBeta disabled uh, so that's great I'm gonna explain what these files do uh, but um, if you have a different modal than A326B, then you can still follow this video. But remember that you'll need to get the files yourself. Now, let's begin by shutting our phone down. Press and hold on power and volume down. Now, <coughs> tap on power off and tap on it again. When your fo phone vibrates, it's off. Get a cable ready, a cable that is currently connected to your computer and not yet to your phone. Now, begin pressing and holding volume up and volume down and while doing so, plug in the USB-C cable. You should see a blue screen, like this. Now, press and hold on volume up. When you see unlock bootloader, when you see that question, it's important that it asks you to unlock bootloader because if it asks you to lock the bootloader, it means it's already unlocked and you shouldn't do it. You should just click on volume down uh, if it asks you to lock it. But if it asks you to unlock it, click on volume up to approve it. Now, it's gonna take a moment because it's gonna reset the whole phone basically let's click on the power key to make it quicker to just go past this alert and that process may take some time uh, some time but get, let's move on to our computer because we need to get a few things on our computer 
So I have this folder. This is the folder that is linked in the description down below. So feel free to check that out. You'll see uh, within that there will be a custom recovery folder. I'm gonna click on the power button again just go to go through the alert. In, and inside that there are the, those two files. One of them contains our custom uh, recovery and one of them contains just some files that will disable something protection that uh, this allows you to do what we're doing so that is also pretty important i'm going to minimize it for a moment because now we need to get to a browser let's get to a browser and search for our website for hard reset info uh, because you'll need to download at least two things um, besides what's in the description down below. So let's go to hardreset.info. <coughs> okay, if there's an ad, just close it. Go to download and in the downloads, uh, find Samsung drivers. So let's just type in Samsung, honestly. I think it should be fine. Yeah, we have this these uh, Samsung drivers, you can see with this icon, with this picture, click on download and click on download here. If there's an ad, just close it. Don't worry about it. Um, I think I already have it downloaded, so I'm just gonna cancel it. Um, then also go to um, the download and type in Adin. This is a program that lets you um, communicate and send all the files to your phone, basically flash it with uh, this uh, new recovery screen. So let's go to download. Let's go to download again. If it asks you to verify you're a human, just click on it, of course. And yeah, I already have it installed, uh, downloaded as well. So I'm just gonna get to my file explorer. <coughs> okay and um, these two files are here in my case uh, to extract them just right click on them and click on extract all um, and go through that then you'll get a folder like this and like this you can see right here and i'm gonna get first to the usb drivers you need to go there open the installation file um, install the drivers and it is very important that you restart your computer after um, installing those uh, drivers because otherwise it won't work so just do it it's gonna take you like two minutes um, and after that you will be do able to do everything simply go to add in uh, folder go into that select the application file and okay and now we have our add-in we'll just need to wait a little moment in my case because you know the phone's not yet on you can see it takes quite some time but now it is on and before before i begin i'll actually make sure that the bootloader is unlocked because it's worth doing that just a couple of minutes and it's it's better to do that instead of wasting time later when something fails and you need to flash your phone again with the stock ROM. There's a video about it, by the way, but you probably don't want to do that. It's just, you know, wasting your time. It's better to just set up your phone and see. I'm actually gonna skip the Wi-Fi and connect to uh, Wi-Fi later because it makes the process quicker. Mm, it doesn't have to load all the data now. Uh, so let's skip everything. Um, yeah, but if you if like it would turn out that for some reason uh, something failed in the bootloader unlocking, you would need to flash your phone with stock ROM and then unlock it again. It's just not worth it, I think. Um, let's go to the system and see everything. I'll go to the settings. I'll connect to Wi-Fi first, of course. Without connecting to Wi-Fi, you won't see it in this. You won't see OEM unlocking in the settings. 
Okay, as you can see, I'm in the Wi-Fi already. Let's go down to uh, About Phone, Software Information, Build Number 7 times, go back twice, and go to Developer Options. Now, um, if, OEM, uh, if Bootloader was unlocked, OEM Unlocking should be enabled and grayed out. Uh, if it's grayed out, then you know that it is fine and now we can turn our phone off <coughs> before i do it i'm gonna unplug the cable that is plugged into the computer um press and hold on power and volume down then tap on power off and tap on it again and now we're gonna do a similar thing we did earlier but we'll actually go to download mode now so let's press and hold on volume up and volume down and while doing so plug in the cable when a blue screen appears uh, shortly this time shortly press on volume up and you are in the download mode your phone should light up as one of the com ports here in the add-in um so yeah basically uh, i have it here and what we need to do is click on ap then uh, select um, select the correct folder, select the TWRP Samsung A32, of course. If you want to install a different uh, recovery, you can do it off the internet. These are just some example files that we have selected, just the most basic ones, you know. Now for user data, select vbeta disabled R. Um, and now we have the files appended here. So what you need to do is before you click on start, this is super important. Cl disable our reboot and disable factory reset time in the options here. You can see log options pit. Uh, okay, I don't, I don't want pit. Um, log and options and in options and select everything here, what's selected. And now we can click on start. We can go back to log to see all the logs if there's an error. And now it is done. So what we need to do is now it is going to be a little bit complicated. Leave the cable plugged in, start pressing and holding on power and volume down. And once the screen goes off, move your finger from volume down to volume up while still pressing power button. So I'll do it with two hands, power and volume down for about seven seconds until the screen goes off. Now I'm moving my finger to volume up and when Samsung logo appears, I can release the power button. Now keep pressing volume up and if nothing changes on the screen, so this alert doesn't go off for about 15 seconds, shortly release and press again the volume up button like I did now. And you can see I'm going through that, but keep pressing the volume up until you go into recovery. Now we are in TWRP. We are in the recovery screen, and this is the custom recovery. If you'd like to use this recovery for, for example, getting a custom ROM, there, I think there's not a video about it on this phone, but on other phones there is one, and it's pretty similar process, so you can, you can watch that. Um, I'll simply explain how to do it here. So basically, you'll need to first go to wipe, then go to um, format data, type in yes, approve. Now it's formatting your data. <coughs> now let's go back, let's go back again, advanced wipe, Dalvik, data and internal storage and i think you can also wipe the cache honestly let's swipe okay now let's go back now what you should do is click on reboot on the main page and go to recovery i'm not gonna do it now uh, but after it reboots into recovery screen you should go to mount click on mount then um you can, I think, select the system. I'm not really sure, but at some point your uh, phone should appear on the computer. Um, 
re remember that. Mm, it doesn't appear here. Um, but if it does appear here as a storage, uh, you can just paste your zip file there and then go to install and find it somewhere here. Um, basically. Or if it doesn't work, go to advanced ADB sideload and use ADB sideload. There's a lot of info on the internet about it. If that doesn't, if the other method doesn't work for you. And I hope that the whole video was helpful to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.